Shalom. First and foremost, when to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachah which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew tongue. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I also want to send out a hearty shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts of waking up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel. Uh, this is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami. Coming back at you with another spiritual spill and it's usually nothing written down, just flowing through the spirit. And at best, I'll quote precepts. Okay, well, uh, as of late, what I've uh, been meditating upon is, uh, you know, uh, seeing that we're we're right here in the thick of things, man, and just thinking about the bus wide open and they, hey, call a lawyer like y'all about shy. Okay, because this thing is, uh, it's, it's getting it's getting bad, man. It, well, matter of fact, it is bad, you know. And then sometimes, you know. It, it, it can seem unbearable and what I mean is you know just going through the everyday rigors and you know seeing all the fucking wickedness excuse my language and um, you know there's just just that pressure from above and pressure from beneath okay and if anybody's in tune with that it will be us it would be the you know the men that actually uh, that are signing and crying for the abominations done in the midst thereof and those that are watching you know watching and and praying <laughs> if you if you're standing on your watch and looking at what's going on and seeing the squeeze you're praying you're praying that the heavenly father has mercy on you okay to deliver you from from the clutches of uh the goddamn devil the bible speaks of which is esau edom the self-proclaimed white man okay but um like i say praise the lord that um that uh, we're in the thick of this thing and it's, and it's winding down. Okay, like the scriptures say, better is the end of a thing than the beginning of it thereof. And, um, you know, but just, you know, compartmentalizing, because I think I spoke in a lesson I did a week ago, a week or two, you know, about the power going out. And, um, you know, hey, I'm used to it. Down here in uh, South Florida, uh, if we don't get a hurricane every year, we get a close call and which ultimately results in the power going out. So <laughs> I'm used to it. And then the place where I live now, okay, you go back there and uh, you, you 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 put a fan, you know, <laughs> you can go back there and blow like the bad, the big bad wolf and the power go out. So I'm pretty used to it, okay? But this time when it went out and it was ironic because I was just about to watch American Blackout. I mean, literally, like, as soon as we turned it on, literally, like, not even two or three minutes, and, uh, you know, lightning struck and the power went out, you know? And, uh, you know, being in that spirit, you know, I just looked at, you know, you know, that uh, instance and, you know, compartmentalized it to what's going to happen, okay? And um, obviously, it wasn't, you know, nobody wants the power to be out, especially when you're paying your bill. And I'm knowing that this ain't the time, you know, it's just by chance. But um, like I say, I took that time to, uh, you know, look at it in depth. And um, yeah, it, hey, and especially having to go a duration of time with the power out, you know, and, I, and that, like I say, I, I'm, I'm used to it. Uh, when uh, I believe that was Katrina, you know, barely, barely missed Miami. I mean, uh, my parents, they evacuated. Okay, a lot of people down here evacuated, okay? Cause it looked like it was gonna hit Miami head on. But at the last minute, the Heavenly Father turned it. And uh, we all know how that uh, played out. It hit New Orleans. And, um, you know, but just the part that we caught, it knocked our power out for a whole month. Okay, so 28 days with no power, man. And that was, it was hell. It was hell. And especially what added uh, salt to the wound, the people right across the street from us had power and we didn't. Okay, they got their power after two weeks and we had to go a whole month without power, you know? And it was hell, man, washing your clothes in the sink, you know, taking cold showers, which I'm not reluctant to do, you know? And actually working and the type of work I do, I actually get dirty 
Okay, so you come home and take a cold shower, you still feel dirty. You know, I speak in my case, but um, yeah, it was hell. Okay, but like in this instance, you know, I was able to put myself in that mindset like, yeah, okay, look, these are the times we're hastening, obviously, okay? Whatever it takes, and that should be our mindset, whatever it takes, okay, for this civilization to be destroyed and for the Lord's kingdom to be established on earth, whatever it takes, and that should be our mindset, okay? But it ain't gonna be a cakewalk, okay? The scriptures talk, talk about that we're gonna, we're gonna be tried, okay? We're gonna have to walk by faith and not by sight, which we're doing now, okay? Because when you really look at it, you look at the big scheme of things, you're in control of absolutely nothing, okay? You're at the will of the Heavenly Father every second of the day, okay? So we're doing that now, but pretty soon, those everyday enmities that we have are gonna disappear, okay? You're not gonna be able to come in the house and just turn the thermostat on, Okay, or hit a light and the, and the light comes on. Okay. Some trying times. Okay. No no trash pickup. All of the things that we prophesied about now, and that's the, the, the focus of this, you know, of this episode, is uh we should be developing our, our mindset, okay, to get ready for things to be taken away. Now, obviously we want it to happen, but there's a vibration of wanting it to happen and actually action actually being able to deal with it okay which if you're sincere the heavenly father is going to put the spirit on you to do so okay but as far as our mind state okay um like the uh elder brother ariala always says be mindful okay it all everything starts with a mindset and our mindset should be look be ready to lose everything fuck fuck everything man Okay, that's why the Lord said, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Why? Because eventually, okay, eventually they're all going to disappear. Like the preacher said, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. So in order for those things, uh, that, that vexation to disappear, you need all this vanity to, to disappear. And it's rapidly approaching. We can see the inner makings of it, okay? Uh, uh, all the prophecies are lining up, okay? And uh, like uh, it says in Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, we're measuring the time diligently within itself. That's for us, okay. And how do we do that? By the prophecies, okay. So us measuring the time diligently within itself, we can see that we we had the last seconds of this thing, okay. Now I don't say that to be to to put brothers in the mind state of being hasty, okay, because the Lord's coming when He comes, okay. And our job is to continue on, keep pressing towards that mark. Okay, and the scriptures say, He that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved. Not he that thinks it's the end shall be saved. Okay, but now it is time uh, to, to develop that mindset of look, in an instance, this shit can go from <laughs> sugary shit to, <laughs> to sour shit because it's all shitty, you know. But like that, in the blink of an eye, this thing can. Uh, switch over okay the economy could collapse your dollar bills are going to be worthless whatever you got saved up okay all chaos breaking out in the streets people raiding and looting and all of that madness man that can happen at an instance okay so the mindset now should be hey bring it on lord bible kushai okay and also meditating and also praying that he keeps you okay Cause hey, watching that American, uh, 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 what was it called? Uh, damn, I just quoted it. Um, the, the, basically, the movie about the power outage, American power outage. It showed you, okay, within like what five hours? No, 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 Salakio. Within like two or three days, people are already hey, like the scriptures say, because uh, of iniquity, the love of many shall wax cold. That happened within two or three days. Okay? So imagine when this thing really kicks off, man. Okay? Now, obviously, the scriptures speak about the uh, wickedness that's going to come on this place and the evil is ultimately set up for the wicked. Okay? It also says that uh, on this side, before the Lord returns, that we're going to uh, uh, be merry and have abundance. Okay? But it also says we're going to be tried like gold is tried in the furnace, 
okay? Or we're going to be in the furnace of affliction. So that's the balance in it. You, we can't be walking through this thing like it's going to be a cakewalk, man. Nah, we hasten that the Lord destroy this shit, but we also ask that the Lord give us the spirit to be able to endure the times that are coming, okay? And all of that starts with a mindset which is to be developed now, okay? And that's another reason why the Lord is long suffering to us work, okay? For us to grow nigher unto him, to make our calling of election sure, okay? And also to pray and meditate on the times that are coming, okay? And get our minds right, especially for those of us who have little children, and, you know, or, or, or extensive families, okay? Now is the time to develop that mindset, okay? And understand it, look, we at the mercy of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? We cannot orate or uh, uh, narrate our own movies. Okay, Obviously, our expect expectation or our hope is to be delivered. Okay, Now, how that takes place, that is totally up to the Heavenly Father. Now, we prepare our minds to deal with whatever He puts on our plate. Okay, But also, also meditating on the, the miracles. And the things that the Lord is going to do for his servants that love him, man, like it says in the scriptures, okay? But nonetheless, understanding that it's going to be trying times. Our spirits are going to be tried, okay? You're going to have to show that you're a true believer in your how about Shem Shai, okay? And the great news about that is, like it says in Revelations 3 and 10, it says, um, we have kept the patience of his word, therefore he will keep us from the hour of temptation, okay, which is coming upon the whole world. Now, obviously, that's speaking specifically about the uh, issuing of the, uh, of the MO to the T to the B, okay? But that that goes along with everything, man. It, even, even in our everyday walks, man, we need the Lord to keep us, okay? Because we all face certain scenarios and situations, and the shit ain't even hit the fan yet. It's starting to, okay? It's being kicked around, you know? But it shit hadn't hit the fan yet. Okay? But the process starts now, Akim, developing the mindset to be able to deal with what's coming and praying that the Lord gives you that mindset. Okay? So um I believe I hit the point and Lord willing that was edifying with that. I say shalom.